be cool, just move with the groove. No funk in here, the beat way too smooth. Yeah. So let's yeah. just do what we came to do. Yo, it's the Pook. I'm going to show you how to get rid of all the white space on YouTube so you can watch your videos without your eyes uh, being burned out of your skull. The way I do it is I use a Google Chrome extension which is called Turn Off The Lights. You can see I've got a little light bulb in the top right of my screen just here and if I click on that I turn off the lights so I can watch the lovely Stalker Coffee video without my eyeballs actually falling out of my skull. I also find when you're watching dark videos, it's much, much easier to see what's going on if you don't have all that white space glaring at you. So, if you like, I will show you how to get. It's a Google Chrome extension, so the best way to do it, open up Google Chrome and just type in your search bar, turn off the lights, and it will be the first result that pops up for you. There you go, there it is, in the Google Chrome web store thingamabob. It's a free extension. You can donate to say thank you to the people who have saved your eyeballs and your retinas. Um, <laughs> you can see there's lots of options down here on the right. I've already got it installed. So what I will do is I will go to my Chrome settings and then extensions and run through some of the options with you. So this is the first page of options, this is kind of like your main options and here you can do things like you can change the background to a snazzy theatre curtain kind of thing or under the water or mountain scene or the soothing waterfall. I prefer just to keep it plain black myself and if you prefer to do that as well you can also change the opacity of your background as well so you can make it a solid black or you can make it um, a more opaque black so you can actually see what's going on in the background behind if you want to. You can also use what are called dynamic backgrounds. So you can have rain trickling down a window pane, you can have, I guess that's puffy clouds over there, I don't know. I kind of think that would be slightly distracting so i leave those off. You have down here a set of specific YouTube options as well. So you can set it to automatically open the videos in a larger window, you can set it to automatically play them in 1080p, which is really handy. So there's, there's lots to uh, set up so you've got it exactly how you want it to suit how you view YouTube. So now if we go to visual effects, this is where you can get a really cool kind of blue atmospheric or whatever colour you want, atmospheric lighting around your video that makes it float off the screen when you watch it. All you have to do is uh, click on this little toggly toggly button and then if I play you can see what it looks like. If I show you on a YouTube video as well, so this is what it looks like on a YouTube video, you can see it floats off the screen, the background's nice and dark, it's, it's much, a much much nicer way to watch a video. This one is only in 720p, so if I find a 1080p video for you, the new Call of Duty trailer's 1080p, and turn off the lights, and it will automatically play it in 1080p for me, and it will float off the screen, and it won't burn my retinas out of my very skull. So it's, it's kind of win-win there, isn't it? I really recommend it, especially if you're watching something lengthy. So all you have to do is Google, turn off the lights, get that extension installed, and this is me turning off the lights. That was cheesy. Bye.